Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today as we are back with another episode of Cathedral. This time we're rummaging past the graveyard into the bone castle. Let's see what awaits us there. I am, uh, to be honest, a little uh, worried <laughs> about the bone castle. It is quite freaky looking. Um, one of the, whoa, 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 slow down there, Tex. One of the things that I think is very interesting about this game, I do really, really enjoy it, but the one thing that really kind of, sort of confuses me about this game is um, that I, well, not that I like it, that's not the right wording I wanna use, but the fact that there is a lot of artificial, artificial difficulty in this game, which really surprises me that I like it. That's the thing that really surprises me, is that there's a high level or a high amount of artificial difficulty in it, and I still enjoy it, which is a little bit confusing to me, because typically in a game, uh, you know, with a lot of artificial difficulty in it, I really just don't enjoy it. I don't find it fun. I, I find it more frustrating but in this game, somehow it just works. I don't know why or how, but they have they have added, included a lot of stuff in here, which just seems a little excessive, a little bit, um, you know, extra hard. And it just, I like it still. And I find it um, fun. And it, I don't know, it's just the way they've done it. Uh, what they've included or how they've included it something about it has made it fun still for me and that is Really cool. I really like that and although The uh, difficulty seems to be very high and Not only very high, but like I said, it's that kind of difficulty that You know with the spikes everywhere the poison and and just the, uh, it hasn't had a lot of like precise jumping. Uh, the platforming has been pretty solid, which is good. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do because I, I would have loved to have had that heart. Uh, you know, the platforming, and maybe that's part of it, except for like one section uh, with the spikes. Let me think where that section was in the last area. Uh, there was a section where you had to jump down through a bunch of spikes that seemed really hard but other than that it's been pretty easy I'll go so far as say easy I guess uh, platforming but it's been pretty generous platforming which might be part of it and a lot of it's not you're not jumping off of um, you know you don't have any what's the word um um, like uh, blind jumps, you don't have, uh, you know, these extra difficult jumps where you're talking about like pixel perfect jumps or anything like that. So there is like an aspect to it that's really not as, you know, as hard as you would think. Well, you guess you gotta be really quick there. Or do you, hmm. Can I? Oh, I don't know if I could get up. I'm not sure I could do that. Can I hit it and drop and make it up there in time? No. Unless, okay, I know what I need to do. So we hit it, drop down, and then you go up to this other one up here. And, oh, okay, that's how you do it. I was like, you hit both of them. That shouldn't be that hard. Uh, but something like that was not actually that really hard to figure out or to do once both, you know, uh, dots were connected. You still, like, I, I don't like disappearing platformers. 
but they that is i would say the best disappearing platforms that i could ask for they're outlined so you know right where they are um which makes it a lot easier and um so it's not like a real difficult jump in the dark uh, before one disappears uh one opens up so you're not um so yeah before one disappears the other one comes on so you're not jumping to an unknown location or even a, trying to time it right it's a oh there we go see it just i think the timing has been done better some of this stuff is definitely artificial difficulty i think that it's not necessarily needed to be there i would much rather fight more difficult enemies than have to be doing this you know difficult jumping and platforming and stuff but that being said i don't oh no i don't think the platforming is incredibly hard even here it's well i, I messed that up that was so my fault um it gives you a generous overlap there and maybe i haven't got to the part where it really gets difficult uh and maybe then i'll start becoming frustrating but right now i still find it fairly well done it's um ooh, I, the pile of bones was in front of me i wasn't quite expecting that uh so yeah Ooh, what's that? I don't even know what that, I got a skeleton wand. Spawn a bone and use as a moving platform. How do I do that? I mean, it's not my list of things that I could use. That is weird. It's not even on my equipment. Where did I get a sp That is, oh, it's up there. Oh, I gotta add it each time. Okay. Oh, that's kind of neat. Interesting. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to use that. What in the world is this? I am not gonna be able to make this. How do I? Oh, wow, that was kind of crazy. That was, I don't know what that was, but maybe like in a, just a little defense that, there we go. I'm gonna have to use it right across here. There we go. That is quite an interesting mechanic there. I like it. It's kind of is a nice, easy way to say, don't go this way. You have to go to another way to get what you need before you go that way. That makes any sense at all. So you have, to, and that's a nice easy way. Spikes, you're gonna die, you're gonna go back. It's, it was a nice easy, I wouldn't say completely safe way because obviously there was, oh, wait a minute. I came back to the beginning. There was obviously spikes in the way, but it was definitely something did I just go in a big circle? I did just kind of go in a big circle there. Huh. Okay, well, let's go back to these doors and see what's in the doors now, I guess. Not every one of these things. This thing will actually jump right over your head, which is kind of cool. The little hopping uh, skull thing. Oh, that was kind of nice. Had all kinds of little power-ups there oh ouch that's not what i was expecting i thought that was a uh, something that i can move or my uh, shield can block that i don't know that was very very close and just like that it made a situation there where i do not have that was not a blind jump it was able to move me down on this little platform so that i could finally see the area and then at the end gives me a ladder so that I can go across it. Again, it's like really oddly well-designed 
um, artificial difficulty. I mean, there is a lot of, there's a lot of spikes. I did see a post that originally the spikes were going to be insta-death. I am so happy that they didn't keep that in. That would have made it definitely much, much harder. See if I could just boink, 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 boink. That's my new favorite way to kill that. And as you saw, even from the platform up there, I saw the line. I was able to see the line for the moving platform. So I knew that if I just waited a minute, I would be able to uh, pick up. Okay, so there is a key there and I haven't found, or a lock. I haven't found the key though. Uh, so I just, a, you wait a minute and you were able to get that uh, platform. You knew that it was coming. So you didn't have to jump down blind. This game has probably like the best artificial difficulty I have found in a game, which is very weird for me. I would have thought that this would have been a very unsatisfactory game at the beginning, uh, but it's, it's, it's ended up being very fun. I am enjoying it quite a bit. See if I can go find, and then things like the double jump, uh, makes it easier as you progress. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. There's the map. Oh, sweet. The map was pretty easy to find. Through the first door. Awesome. I got a bunch of money now. I want to run back to town. Every time I grab a little bit of money now, I want to run back to town. So, yeah, there's a whole... That might be where the boss is. Got a little bit of a loop here, and we've already figured out that area. Maybe not where the boss is. There is a thing in this area. I I feel that there is an area within this area that we've uh, are going to have to almost like the uh, poison pavilion. The necromancer den was inside the poison pavilion. I feel that there's going to be another section past that. So we're going to run back. I've got, I just, I know there's probably going to be some more shops or something, and I really don't want to waste the money uh, getting killed several times. So, uh, yeah, it's part of the game. Maybe a little bit more my fault because I die quite often, but... Uh, definitely something that you want to be able to do is go back to town often and you know refill that health I like how whatever you're carrying goes on your back which is pretty cool when you're going up and down ladders so your sword and your boned one will go on your back when you uh, go up a ladder which is kind of cool uh, 20,000 is the thing I need and how much do I have here? I have, well, not as much as I want. Uh, shop. This is going to take most of my money, I think. Um, if I can keep, I don't know how well I can keep $6,000, though. That's going to be an iffy proposition. I may or may not be able to do that well. Uh, so let's don't want to set that. I know there is one right inside the city, but I'd rather, hey, why uh, risk it? And let's just uh, have uh, keep that safe spot the way it is. So I'm definitely not going to die in town. At least I don't think so. I don't plan on dying within the town. Okay, back to the graveyard. So we were able to map out a good portion of it. I'm assuming if we go up this time uh, in the, the other door, we'll have a, probably have the key up there and then we'll be able to unlock and go into that other area. I kind of wish this run right here wasn't so long. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be setting up an ominous feeling or whatnot, but I feel the running to that but again that's a simple thing I, I can't imagine i don't know i probably there's there's always something 
that you can, you know, is better or you can make it better. Um, if you, you know, ah, crud, you kicked me in the face. Um, somehow, you know, game is, uh, never perfect, but, uh, this would be hard. I think I'd be hard pressed to think of something that I would, ouch, uh, want to, um, do differently on this one. I mean, I know the artificial difficulty is not a thing I, uh, but again, it's just done so well here. Uh, I really am not happy that I, I, uh, lost a lot of health. Ah, that quickly. It's not going to be a fun, yeah. I would like to get some more of those hearts up there, but, oh, there's some down here too. Sweet. I hate this bouncy thing. He does jump over your head, but you have to find that perfect spot first. That like first spot, he doesn't, um, he'll kick you in the face if you're too close to him. Come on, just attack him with my arrows. Oh, this doesn't bode well. There's way too many hearts down here. Oh. That's blocked off. That's interesting. I did not notice that. Maybe we need to go around the other way then. Something over here? Because there seems to be a door or should be a door. I'm too high actually for the door. I wonder if it's somehow lower. There's way too many things were running at me at one time. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Like, I was a little too high there for some reason. Oh, gosh. i bounce over here and get all this stuff without dying. Ouch. Uh, let's get out of here. I used up one of my potions for that. Not really what I would want to do, but... Ah, crud. This thing is tough if you get hit by him. Back up and around, I guess, and go off to the other side. This little fire trap is a little difficult to avoid as well. Go. I do not like these guys, and I wonder if... Well, nope, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Eh. Ah, man. Lost a little bit of life, or a little bit of magic there. That's all right. Ooh. Get him in the back. Stab him in the back. That's the way to get through. So, let's get rid of this guy. Don't need that gold. I want this guy to come down. Let's see if I can okay. get... There we go. That wasn't too bad. Now, if I can get... The other guy to come down here will do the same thing. There we go. That wasn't too bad. You just got to plan it and be ready for it. There's nothing up there. Haha, <laughs> look at that jump. Woo! Okay. Oh, run. Get out of there. Oh, there's something there. But if I go back down now, he shouldn't be there. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> Spoke a little too soon. Knew I was gonna get hit. Ugh. Uh oh. That wasn't too bad. I did get wasted. Uh, that was harsh. I need to. Oh gosh. I'm glad and, and the the. Uh, ah, God. Uh, those um. Very, very, very lenient le on the uh, invi invincibility frames. So there's, yeah, lots and lots of time that you're there while you're invincible. So that's another thing that's really good about the game. He saw me, I think. I'm not sure I fell too fast, though. 
Actually, I might be. Nope. Come in. There you are. Ah, great. Not quite low enough. Another way I could probably have done that is that I already got that, so let's just go up here. <laughs> let's just run away from this. Make sure that we let this guy shoot out as much as we can. Oh, is he just gonna shoot forever? How do you get past this thing? I mean, like that, I guess. Just, that's kind of a crazy uh, trap there. Ah, I didn't realize I was so low on health. Uh, okay. We could do this. I do need a lot of those. I'm using up all my arrows here if I'm... Oh! Got out of the way just in time! I really don't like that thing. Man. Yeah. Okay, let it let, just take the time. Let it get low enough. Don't try to go too fast. Be patient. And you will be able to make it. Ah, Craig, he hit me. On his way. Uh down, which is not cool at all. know how I'm supposed to other than that get oh, I'm gonna make it way too hard now be like uh, every little inch ah break it's a time to vent or something or it sees you or senses you or it just that is really like incessantly shooting these things at you. Really wish I can get the attention of that guy. There he goes. Well, maybe. Oh, nah, I'm not sure if that was helpful or not. Can I outrun them? Let's see. <laughs> I did was able out to run them. That's good. If there's, I wish there was like chickens. I wish they did the the uh, pork chops in the hallway or in the walls, like in Castlevania. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Jump. There is a lot of flaming fire attacks right now, and that does not. Set well with me. Grab those. Ah! Got that. It got me! This is tricky! Wow, this is gonna be really difficult here. That was good. Time. There we go. And then jump across. There. I think I can make the. Oh, did I just go? Oh, I was worried there for a second. I thought I ran to a dead end. Like, that's not cool. Ah, right into it. I meant to jump. Crap. Get this thing. I hate it. Although it most of the time gives me. Oh! There, yeah, I found that. Oh. My ghost is, I guess, could push it. Will he not come off? There it goes. Oh, I got him to go that way. 
I don't know. Hopefully that was the right way to make it go. We'll have to wait and see. I'm a little worried about that, that I pushed it off the wrong way. But we'll see if we can... Come back down all the way across the bottom, maybe. And get it. Oh, I got lucky. He ran into my platform, I believe, and that's how he died. That was really lucky. Okay, we got the bone. Ah, right. And we're gonna die. I wanna see what's up on the top. So we're gonna wait and get this, but I think, oh. Nope. We gotta go to this one last area. Oh, yeah, there we go. More money. But yeah, I really would like to try to save up the money. Oh, there's a songbook up there. I saw it. I don't know if I could jump to it, but we could find out. Oh, I hit the top. I'm gonna probably have to have dash for that. Yep. It's just if I can make it. Oh. This is very Indiana Jonesy. <laughs> Try to get through. Ah, oh no! Timed it wrong. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. I don't really have to go this way. I wouldn't mind checking it out and seeing what the, is this way. He's going to go and I am going to be able to whoop, right into the next area down. I'm curious to see what is at the bottom of this. Maybe there's something that's going to prove useful. We'll have to just kind of wait and see maybe a little bit of gold. of hearts maybe I don't need all those but uh, I'm gonna pick up what we can see I think they're like refilling me uh, at this point uh, refilling me with health because that part area past area was dangerous I'm guessing and they expect me to have I like low health. I think that's probably what all the hearts were for. Ah. The gold in the oh gosh! Did not expect that guy there for some reason. Hey, now that should be pretty close to the beginning, I think. If not, there we go. Yeah. I run away from this guy. I really would just like to get away from those little skull things. I'd be really happy if I could do that. Stupid spikes. Where am I? Yeah, this is the this is the room with the door. Ooh, that was close. All right, so we got our key. Uh oh, and I found a uh, another book, which is good. I'm thinking that that's probably going to be a good place to stop. Uh, that will be right before, you know, we'll have to go back down here and unlock the door. Oh, shoot. Oh. Uh, it really doesn't, I guess, matter that much. And this was a fairly easy path. And if I die down here, uh, I'll lose a little bit of money, but I'll be all right. And I can go ahead and I can go ahead and run back, unlock it. And yeah, let's go ahead and unlock it, save it. Fill that up. And I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and run back to town. Just so I don't lose my 2,000 gold a year. I know it seems a little silly to uh, use the money to get that extra area. Or the extra... Uh, 
bank deposit it's almost a waste of money but the way i play i play hitting the enemies with my face more often than my sword so i think that probably is a good way to you know uh, good use of my money i should say i really would like to have that uh, extra health or the extra what is it not health it's what was it giving me i don't recall now um shoot oh yes it was my my health pools my uh, magic potions will fill up i don't want to hit any of these because i want my death to be back at the the beginning there actually what i'll do is run save my money but not heal back up and then i'll come back and die that will transport me back to there with full health and full potions i gotta get to my money first or drop off my money or at least some of it so we don't waste that that is the plan i need yeah it seems like a little bit of a waste but i would rather have a place to store it even though i'm spending money for it then um you know sit here and keep on losing it because i'm dying i would probably end up losing more if i didn't do this i mean 10 percent's a lot i mean it's easy to lose 600 percent when you are you know going you know when you have six thousand what do i need i need like another not quite ten seven thousand so it's going to be real easy for me to lose 600 i die once holding 6000 and you lose that and i don't want to do that nope i don't want to withdraw i want to deposit it. okay so this is in a way you know saving me money it may not quite seem that way but it is fifteen thousand we might be able to get away with that. Sometimes I've held on to 6,000. But I do believe that's pushing it. So since we didn't hit any save spots, here's a trick of warping. If you're real good with your space save places and you know where they are and, you know, you want to go back to a certain one so I can warp anywhere. I'm going to warp to the graveyard just to be sure, but... I can warp anywhere and when I die, I'll go back to the last spot. I hit one of those little sta save statues and that was in the bone graveyard. So we'll just take a minute here to run across and get hit by every little thing. There we go. We're down to zero gold, so it didn't cost us anything, which is great. And bam, right there we are inside the ba uh, bone church. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.